Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I'm the Old School Game Snob. In today's video we're going to learn how to move your pawn around smoothly with uh, with a thumbstick based movement. Let's hop into VR and I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing so you can make sure that this is indeed what you're looking for before you do the tutorial. Uh, the <laughs> the um, directional cylinder indicates which direction the player pawn is facing. Now, with, with my, my thumbstick, thumbstick, I'm currently moving the character, the character around in a fixed direction, not based on the location that they're looking, so I can look left, I can look right, I can look around, and it doesn't determine which way I'm looking. Now you can easily adjust this if you want to move based on the direction that the player is locating, or direction, but I wanted to create sort of a... Uh, like a, like a hoverboard hover sort of, uh, you know, sort of effect here. So, so what we're going to do in this video is learn how to move your character around independently of which way your character is looking, looking so, so you can kind of drive and steer. steer. Now, now what, what I'm, I'm going to add after this is sort of a rotational, uh, directional rotational um, uh, controller, controller to, to my, my right, right thumbstick. thumbstick. Right, right now, this is all on my left thumbstick, so uh, I'll, I'll be able, able to basically, basically move around like a mech, mech right? A mech, mech warrior, forward, forward back, back, left, right, steer. steer. But in, in this video, video I'm just going to show you guys how to move, how, how to get, get your your control, uh, your controller moving around with sort of like smooth movement. Uh, based on thumb di thumb stick direction. So hopefully if that's what you guys are looking for This is the tutorial for you in order to do this What we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, of course. So this is the VR starter template kit uh, You'll probably want to fire that up. This is Unreal Engine version 5.1 uh, What we're going to do is we're going to start by heading into the inputs that's VR template inputs and what you will find here is an IMC default. Now this is um, basically the same as the uh, old style of doing this, which uh, if you look into your project settings, I'll, and you don't need to look into your project settings, but basically we used to do this from the input section over here. Uh, this IMC default is basically the same as your project settings, uh, um, input uh, and action mapping. So what we're gonna do here is we have our mappings. Now by default you will have this, 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 and this, and but you won't have this. We're going to add this one. This is the basically the thumbstick directional movement system that we're going to do in just a second. Uh, go ahead and open up your VR pawn that is again coming with your um, with the uh, VR starter kit when you when you uh, open up the VR starter kit in Unreal Engine. Your VR pawn will look something like this. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is change the VR pawn class uh, settings to parent class character. By default this will be set to pawn, so change that over to character. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disable the teleport and snap turn. Now these are the default movement uh, methods that come with the VR starter starter pack. Uh, now I've just disabled mine here. You can delete that, but I've just sort of disabled mine for, for, for so in case I want to check on how to do that later. So I've disabled teleport and disabled snap turn. Now instead of that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new input action which is found under the... nope, not under the character, found under the VR template input uh, actions. So like I say, have this open. We're going to use that in a minute, the IMC default. Uh, and under actions, here's all sort of the default actions that you get. I've created a new action into my own little folder here called IA Move 2 d So all you need to do to create your own version of that is right-click, go to Input, uh, and add a new input action. Now instead of actually doing that, I'm just going to open the one that I've created. I've just renamed mine to IA underscore Move 2 d I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And this is going to be, and this is, you can just name this whatever you want. This is for your own reference. Um, but what you're going to want to do is change the value type to axis 2D vector 2D. <clears throat> By default, I believe it's digital bool. So you change that to axis 2D vector 2D. <clears throat> that will basically mean that we can move in all the directions. And what I've also done is set a dead zone here. So all you need to do is uh, click plus under the modifiers, add a dead zone, uh, and that'll look something like that. And then the lower and upper threshold sort of determine where there's a dead zone. 0 0.2, I believe, is about 20 is 20% of the thumbstick's uh, distance 
1.0 is of course 100 percent so if you want to uh, tweak your dead zone so there is no dead zone you know there would be no dead zone or if you want to change the dead zone to be you know 10 percent there's 10 percent that's my understanding of it anyway i haven't played around with that too much but basically what we've done here is we've created an action uh, uh an axis 2d vector blah 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 all that sort of stuff and next we're going to need to add this uh, add this um, mapping, I guess I'm, I'm going to call it a mapping. I'm going to add, uh, we're going to add this to the IMC default <clears throat> configuration, which again, like I mentioned, you guys, it's uh, right over here. IMC default comes with the VR template. Uh, and all we're going to do is add our own IA move uh, here. So I'm going to add a new mapping. <clears throat> I'm going to look for the IA move 2D, which is, of course, what we named our input uh, action. And then what I'm going to look for is the Oculus Touch L thumbstick 2D axis. Now, if you want this on the right thumbstick, uh, look for the Oculus Touch R thumbstick 2D axis. Uh, if you uh, don't use an Oculus Touch and you want this to be something else, look for the equivalent uh, Android or HTV or sorry, HTC Vive or, or Valve or whatever the equivalent of the thumbstick 2D axis is. I don't know uh, for the other ones. I just know for the Oculus is the thumbstick L th uh, 2D axis. Uh, if you wanted to be able to steer with the left and the right, uh, you know, depending on what the user wants, you can just go ahead and add another uh, action mapping there. So in this case, I would do something like Oculus Touch uh, R uh, thumbstick 2D axis. So now it'll move with either the left or the right the same. So we'll go ahead and save that up. And in our VR pawn, now we can use that action mapping. So I've got mine down here. And I'm going to do this another version of this with you guys so that you can see what to do. So I'm just going to go look for IA underscore move 2D. And we want the action event of this, uh, not the enhanced action value, but the action event. So IA move 2D is the one that we created. And the other thing we're going to want to do is an add movement input. Add movement input. So by default, yours will look something like this. So that what you're going to want to do first, uh, you can actually just go ahead and connect that first, but then you're going to want to split the struct, uh, right click split, split struct on world direction so that we have those in the uh, XYZ individual pins. And we're also going to want to split the uh, action value. So then again, we have the action X and the action Y. Now, what I found works in order to move the character in the right direction is you take the X and you plug it into the Y. <laughs> you take the Y and you plug it into the X. I don't know why it's reversed. <clears throat> I didn't do the math, but that's what works for me. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is potentially change the scalar speed. So I've got mine at 25 right now. That's basically just how quickly the character will move. So if you want to go really, really quick, you know, maybe 200 or something like that. So I had just got mine set to default uh, 25 or to 25 flat value at the moment. Now this might depend on how you want your character to move around. You might want to scale that based on some other factors such as uh, sprint enabled or whatever. Um, but yeah, basically, actually, basically that's it. You know, compile, save, and uh, now that should basically give you the movement of of something like so. Now you do have to pick up the headset, of course, to activate it, uh, to activate the window. And my headset seems to be disconnected at the moment. There, there we, we go. go. All right. So headset, headset on, on, and now we're moving around with our direction. direction. Now, now, if you, you wanted, wanted to move in the, the direction, direction that your camera, camera was facing, facing that would be a little bit different and I'm not going to actually do that in this tutorial but I will just tell you that it has to do with get uh, get location or get forward vector look location that sort of thing get um, get um, forward vector <clears throat> get forward vector of I'm not really sure actually which component maybe the camera component or something like that I'm not 100% sure because that's not really what I want to do but you would basically just get the forward director vector of your look look looking direction and you would put that into the movement uh, as you see fit. 
Um, and that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Now, of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rotational values to my left or right controller so that I can actually rotate the body with the controller should the player actually want to do that. But that's going to, uh, I'm sure you guys can figure that out once you kind of have the basics um, uh, on how to actually move the character around with, uh, with a joystick. And that's what this video is about. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you later.